Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to give you a tour of our brand new 2020 13 foot scamp trailer. Come on into our new scamp trailer. So we'll get started with the stove. We have a gas stove that I have underneath here, which is run by propane. And we picked for the cover as an option. What's really nice about the Scamp trailer is you can kind of customize everything that you want for the 13 or the 16 or the 19. And we'll go over a video with exactly what we picked when we ordered it. But we did pick for a cover for our stove. I think it's really nice. You can use this as a place to place a cutting board or store things when you're not using your gas stove. So we really enjoy that. We have a sink here with a hand pump and with a hookup. So if we're at a campground or not, it also has a fresh water tank, which is really nice, and a gray water. So that's pretty much everything we got for the water hookup. We decided to not do a bathroom, and um, I can go over another video of everything that we've added in and kind of customized in this, but so far that's been really great. We also got a mini fridge. So this guy's a little bit small, but perfect for the two of us. So we'll fill this up really fast. This can run on the battery or propane or our when we go to a campsite and do a hookup and it also has a lock that's really nice when you travel so nothing's gonna fall out of there we have a little storage underneath our sink lets you access anything you need to under there we'll probably just put a trash can there for right now and then we have some overhead storage up above too and everything is brand new, so everything really sticks right now. Um, but it's a lot of really nice space. There's more storage than you think in here. That was one of the things I was pleasantly surprised about is that it's really, really deep cupboards and that you can probably store a lot up there. All right, there are two more cabinets right here, which again are very deep and are great to store things. We have haven't really accumulated a ton of stuff yet, but I'm sure it'll be packed within no time. But really, again, really tall cabinets, which is nice. Right now I have this set as a bed. We are gonna fold it up to a table for you guys. This is a full-size bed, really easy to kind of break up and put down. And so most people can leave it like a bed when they travel, or you can set it as a table. Either way, again, very convenient. And there's lots of storage underneath. So if you wanted to, you could put some things down there, which is another great option. Jess filmed putting the bed into a table twice because we had so many people come up to us and talk to us about the trailer. So I'm gonna share with you guys again, hopefully without interruptions. So the bed just pulls apart really easily. These middle parts come out. You can just place them aside. super easy. Inside here, there's extra storage. So on both sides, there are these storage bins, which let you access some extra water tanks that are in here and also give you some deep storage that you can have. So it's on both sides. Okay. To get the table out, this middle part just comes off. You can just store it somewhere else. We're probably going to store it in our car when we're not using it. See? nice piece of wood. I'm just going to put it up here for right now. All right. And then to get the bed or to get the table, it's really easy. You just lift up. There is a leg that clicks into place. See, and then you just lift those up and there are little slots that kind of go into the groove and you have your table. So, pretty easy that one person can do it. These come down to your seat. That other part that was the metal part comes up to be kind of the backrest. And then you just do the same on the other side. Down for your seat. And the other part fits in. And this table can fit four people really comfortably. Lots of leg room. The table is really secure. 
really easy to put back down or flip up. Most times we look at it as a table and then we'll set up as a bed before we're ready to go to sleep. But super um, open and spacious so that it makes the trailer feel really, really big. And we've had four people in here and it looks great. We're gonna move over to the couch that turns into bunk beds. So I've just pulled everything off the couch over here, all of our cute decor that we bought for the trailer. But the couch is super comfortable. Um, it does turn into a bunk bed and it does sleep four people. I would say it sleeps two adults and two kids. So if you have a growing, growing family or if you want some extra room with the bunk beds, it's really nice to have extra storage. It might be a great option. So we are planning on taking our two Shih Tzu puppies camping with us. And so they will adore this as their bed. <laughs> and I like to have it as bunk beds so we have a little bit of extra places to put bags or put some belongings. So I'm gonna show you guys how to turn it into a bunk bed. It's really easy. We also have extra storage up above. So there is all this extra room. It's super deep. So again, storage is really awesome in this thing. It really, we have lots of nooks and crannies to put things. I'm not really worried about storage when we travel because it goes the whole length of this upper part. Underneath there's another storage bin. So this again, you can put lots of things down there. We keep the poles for the bunk beds down here, but you can put lots of things down here. Another great storage place. You just want to have some room to take apart the couch and when you do the table into a bed. But this just comes off. The bottom one is detachable. I just kind of move it to the side so just give yourself some room when you're when you're working with it and underneath here there's two more storage bins so just like the bed there are these two little storage bins underneath you can access your electrical things in here um, but there is room to store a couple different items there are two of these places to put the poles so i have the poles pulled out this little latch goes on the upper part and what's really nice too is that this bed this bottom part is attached but the bottom isn't so it kind of swings upward the top is it is latched to the tra to the trailer but you can grab it underneath pull forward and then there's little screws that sit for your bunk bed so this can you can be like around 120 pounds i believe to be on the top it's mainly made for kids so just keep that in mind when you get it. But again, you can put lots of storage up here. All right, so my two poles are in. It's really, really nice and sturdy. And then all you do is you fit the bottom one back in. So again, a little bit of maneuvering. Everything is still brand new, so. There's another piece that we left in our house, but there's a part in the back that you can put to kind of pad it so that there's a bed all the way back. Um, but it's really simple to make a bunk bed or to take down. And like I said, it's kind of storage. There's also storage right above where we have the table. I forgot to show you guys. Um, both sides are the same. So again, very deep. And we have these little lights. So I'll go over the lights we got now. Um, we picked two little reader lights on either side. Okay. We also put a fire extinguisher for safety. We have some more lighting here. And again, you can customize everything for your trailer. So I'll make a separate video on everything that we picked and why. But lots of lighting. We have four lighting on this side. And one up here. This can get very bright. We also want, without getting a um, air conditioning unit, we want one with a fan, and the fan comes with its own remote. So it's very fancy. It's a 10-speed fan, 
Uh, it's the Max Air. And so it can suck hot air out and cool you off in the summer. So I will, I can do a review once we've had high humidity here in Pennsylvania. Um, if we regret not getting an air conditioning, but we just went with a fan for, for now. Um, we also didn't go with a furnace. We just have a little personal sized furnace that's really small that heats it up because it's such a small trailer that really it cools down and heats up very fast. So that's why we personally used it. We also have lots of windows that open with screens that are very nice. There's a window here, a window against the back of the trailer. There's a window um, on the other side and two more. There's one by the kitchen. And then this one back here, they have a gravel shield, but it comes off to be another window. I think the last thing before I let you guys go and we do the outside is that we also opted for a screen door. So what's really nice is that you can have your door latched open and you can have a screen door in the summer to keep all the bugs out. So this is uh, something we're gonna use very often. Let's go check out the outside. I forgot to mention that we do have some you know, outlets inside of our camper as well as some USB ports. So I'll, I'll put some B-roll on the screen now to show you all of the awesome things that we have inside the camper. I forgot to say that when we were going through it. We do have some lighting for the outside of our camper. We have a light that goes right up on the side of it. We also have a light that goes in front of our camper. So if you hook up at night, it's really convenient to see what you're doing. So we opted for both. All right, over here, we have more of electrical outlets that you can hook up. It was really important to us to be able to hook outside and do different things. So again, everything is customized for the scamp and this is something that was really important to us. We have more brake lights. Our fresh water connector is out here. More brake lights. It's very important to have brake lights. electrical panels but we don't have to access that those are what these are and in the front of the camper again we have a light and we have our propane our battery and everything set up so it's really really simple um, and again we went with options without a furnace without a air conditioning without a bathroom so that we can make camping as simple as we possibly can so these are just a couple of things that we did um, so that way we can cook and have a power and it's really nice because we have the battery option if we're off grid we're looking into doing some solar things to generate power so i'm really excited to looking forward to that but um, we do have the propane if we want and it's really nice because when you tow your scamp trailer it also charges the battery so that's another great option as well when you're camping and most places do have hookups so you can always do that as well we have it hitched to our Subaru Forester and the Forester can pull around 1,500 pounds. And one of the reasons why I researched and found the Scamp trailer is that it's so light. It's only around 1,100 pounds without a bathroom. So really I wanted to be able to pull with the car we already have and it's been able to do that. So one of the options if you have a smaller vehicle and you don't want to buy a truck is to look at the Scamp trailer because they are really, really light. So we have it hitched up. We have wireless control brakes, which are really a good option especially if you're towing it with a lighter vehicle and then we have the gravel shield which just pops off and you can have an extra window so that's pretty much it um, a lot of people tell us when they come into our trailer that it feels a lot bigger than it looks and I think that's just the awesome design that Scamp did this whole thing from the hitch is 13 feet but inside our little trailer it's only 10 from the wall to the wall so it is a small space, but really they did a great job designing it so that you can make the couch a bunk bed and the table a bed. And really we've had four people, I think are the maximum we've had in it so far. And it doesn't feel like it's anyone's crowded or it's too little. So um, four adults, I should say. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys like this video. If you guys wanna see more videos on our Scamp trailer or camping or anything else to have to do that we've purchased this, I'm happy to make them. We're gonna have a video coming out about how much it costs, 
um, ordering one. This guy came all the way from Minnesota, and as you guys know, we live in Pittsburgh, so it was quite a long distance for it to travel. And I'm happy to talk about how we ordered it, the ordering process, anything you guys want. So make sure you leave me a comment, give this video a thumbs up, make sure you're subscribed, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.